Well, let's get an update on the markets, which are seeing uh, quite a bit of red ink at the outset of trading. Melissa Armo joining us, CEO and founder of the Stock Swoosh. No real surprise, Melissa, what's driving this today. Uh, obviously, it's I think it's one of the first times in a little while we have seen a global event have an impact on Wall Street. Definitely. The market has been pretty peaceful the last few weeks. I mean, we had such a nice rally in December. I mean, we had very few red days. So we, we were down this morning, but we're making a comeback here. So I really, when I saw the gap down in the market this morning where we were opening, we were rallying even before we opened at 930. And I, I really don't think the market is going to have a hard sell-off today. I wouldn't be surprised even if we were higher into next week. I mean, the market's so strong. But this is the volatility like we were discussing yesterday. That is going to happen this year in 2020. So then oil prices will probably be something that will be on watch today. Well, oil was rallying this morning, was up this morning, and now it's that's turned around in the opposite direction. Now oil is falling. So, I mean, it's interesting because oil had a big pop right when the market opened, and now it's down. Although the companies like Chevron still very, very strong. Yeah. Exxon chart, I don't like as much. That looks lower, but Chevron is still very strong, despite the fact it's selling off and, and uh, selling off since the open now. Well, when you think about a, an event like uh, what has occurred in Iran, it, it puts a global perspective on it, and there are a variety of different business sectors that could potentially be impacted by something like this, airline, shipping, etc. You follow the airline sector. What are we seeing there, at least in the early going, with those companies? Airlines are down today. Yeah, I mean, JetBlue is down. Uh, United is down. In fact, United, it really looks a lot lower. And you know what? If if there is a strike back, God knows what could happen. And there could be more volatility. I'm not saying it happens in the next few days, but that's what they're threatening now. So it's, it's a very precarious situation, I believe, especially with the, with the nuclear um, situation in yep. Iran. And I can tell you, living in New York, I'm sure they are on high alert, high alert here right now in the city at every major airport. Newark, JFK, and LaGuardia are on high alert today. All right, let's switch gears. Uh, Tesla coming out with some news earlier today. Uh, They surpassed their targets for deliveries for the fourth quarter. Uh, They made their target for the year. Uh, And they also said that they were cutting the price of the Model 3 in China because of subsidies that they were giving. So give us a, a kind of an overview of Tesla as we start 2020 right now. Wow, what a comeback Tesla has had. Tesla hit brand new all-time highs today. Despite the market having opened down, Tesla opened up. Tesla ran over 450 today. And remember, a couple of months ago, I mean, actually 2019 was a rough year for the stock because of all of the things that were going on with Elon Musk. The stock has had a tremendous comeback since late October and is right now stronger than the market today, stronger than the market even in the last few days. So I think the subsidies from from China are going to help the stock. Clearly, you're seeing that the reaction today, this stock could even run right up to 500. I mean, I really like the look of the stock right now. It it, it was in a downtrend, and now it's back up in an uptrend, and it seems like nothing's going to stop it. The the sales are probably going to skyrocket, and again, it's because of the subsidies. So they're really not losing any money with the subsidies, but selling it at a lower price. And the irony, I guess, is that the price of the stock right now is above where Elon Musk had said, what, a year, year and a half ago, that he if, if it got to that price, which I think was 425 a share, he was going to take it private. <laughs> I know, I'm sure. I mean, he probably was like, sure, you know, with the last couple months of trading. But isn't it interesting? Again, the impact that social media has on the market whether it's a tweet from the president or a tweet from a CEO, it, it is incredible the times that we live in right now. Melissa, thanks very much for your time. Melissa Armo, CEO and founder of The Stock Swoosh.